Hi everyone, Holly here from SVG for Fun and Profit. Today, I thought I'd answer a question that I see an awful lot on some of the Facebook groups, and that is, what do I do with my SVG files? They won't load into my Silhouette Studio Basic Edition. The regular answer I see from people is upgrade. Well, that's an okay answer, except that not everybody wants to upgrade. Some people just want to use their basic edition studio software to send designs to their machine and cut them and have fun and put them on things and just not design. So if that's you, or if you have files that you want to learn how to get into studio, uh, the basic edition, uh, that's what I'm going to show you. That's what we're going to do here today. It's really very simple. The Silhouette Studio Basic Edition does not import SVG files. In order to directly import SVG files, you need at least the designer edition. Okay, if you're going to be a designer and you're going to design designs, maybe sell them, then you should just upgrade all the way to the business edition. Save yourself some headache and some, some aggravation and just, just go for it. If you're not sure, but you've been buying SVG files thinking, hey, I can use these in my Silhouette Studio Basic Edition, I've got an answer for you. It's really quite simple. On my screen, you see the Silhouette Studio software. I happen to have the business version. It's just up there for a background. I'm going to show you really quick how to do this. It is not hard at all. Okay, I'm going to go down here and I'm going to load a program called Inkscape. I'll put links in the comments below the YouTube video and I'll put them on the blog post. And it's a free program, free is good, that you can download for your Windows computer or your Mac and with this program you import an SVG in and you save it out as a DXF. DXF is the file format that Silhouette Studio Basic Edition will import and read as a cutting file. So here we go. I'm just going to go right up here to File and Import. This is pretty simple, isn't it? And I'm going to just choose that design and notice that it's an SVG and I'm going to say open. It's going to give me a box here with some um, things to choose from. I just leave the defaults the way they are. You can just uncheck that, which I think I will because I always leave the defaults, and I'm going to say OK. Now my file just drops in down here. Well, that's pretty nice. So now I can uh, just drag it up there. Well, you may want to resize it a little bit so that it kind of fits. I don't know what size this is, but you, know, you can resize it or do whatever you like with this. At this point, you're done with the hard stuff, really. So now I'm just going to go up here to File and Save As. And it's already highlighted up here, so I'm going to say Heart and Paw. I've already chosen my desktop because that's where I save to for this type of thing. And then I'm going to save the file. And that's it. I'm done. Now if I go over to... Um, my desktop, I have a Mac, so it's going to look a little different than yours. Right here, you see this heart and paw DXF? There it is. You're not going to see it as you would an SVG file or something else. But there it is. And now you can just import it into your Silhouette Studio Basic Edition, and it's going to work just great. When it comes in, it might just be an outline, but that's not a problem. Just choose a color, make it a color, send it off to your machine at the right size, and you're good to go. Now, Inkscape is a free program, and I know some people that actually design with Inkscape for cutting machines. You can do that. I don't. It's just not the software I've chosen. I use Shortcuts a lot 5, which is incredibly powerful, and um, I use the Silhouette Studio Business Edition. So there you have it. How can you use your SVG files with the Silhouette Studio Basic Edition? That's how. Use Inkscape import your SVG file and save it as a DXF, then bring it back into the Silhouette Studio software and cut away and have fun. Thanks for joining me. If you're watching on YouTube, please click subscribe below and hit the bell so that you get notified of the latest videos. And if you haven't come to my blog yet, www.svgforfunandprofit.com, come on over. I have some things over there for free and lots of videos and uh, some new things coming very, very soon. Again, this is Holly Pike from svgforfunandprofit.com, and thanks for joining me.